to the Goons Pod Podcast. Welcome back to the Goons Pod Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. Just me and Super this time, right? Okay. Me and Super the Singers and Dude and Matt are just the background sitting, standing, staring guys that make no noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every concert's crowd. got those guys. Crowd, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sitting, standing, standing. Nuts, singing guys. <laughs> so everyone else at the concert yeah, got it. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. Mm, all right. This concert was shit. Yeah, this was awful. I don't blame you. I went to a 21 Savage concert one time. I feel what like I you're, with that? you'd be out of place there. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> what about Billy Ray Cyrus is a fan of 21 Savage. You, you more belong in 21 Pilots. <laughs> like, absolutely not. Actually, really I, not, huh? Neither of them I, worked I for I had you. a fun time. Yeah? Just kidding. Just oh. kidding. No, I didn't. Why wow. not? Yeah. What, what was wrong? Well, I just, know because you know zero 21 Savage songs, right? I know about 21 of them. That's, that's a quite, that's, that's a healthy That amount. isn't funny. <laughs> That isn't funny. <laughs> that isn't funny. <laughs> you are not funny. Stop talking. I don't at like least, you anymore. At least with that joke. Specifically. Mm-hmm. Not funny. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. No problem. So what did you do? What did you do after the 21 Savage concert? My question. I, I, I drove home. Did you drive <laughs> home very regret. angrily? Regret. This is you regretted a, driving home? <laughs> Wait, huh? You wanted to go back? I had a friend drive me. Okay. What did you, did you... This is a really boring conversation. To go? <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> this is a, yeah. I'm not enjoying this conversation. Why are you so interested What in was my... your mode of transportation to the concert? <laughs> <laughs> what MPG did you have on the way there? How much gas did you have in the tank? Oh, <laughs> I think we were about a quarter of what a tank. What were gas prices around stop. this time? I'm just curious about, why you, why you went to a 21 Savage concert. Was it out of interest or did somebody like force you to go? Uh... I wasn't like held at gunpoint. You're going to the fucking 21 Savage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did Hulk Hogan take you? <laughs> Is that the guy who drove you? Uh, I think like, my friend had an extra ticket and I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm not doing anything else. I guess I'll go and just hang out. Did you and enjoy just it? hang out. I mean, it was interesting. It was something. I don't personally, I don't feel like I would enjoy going to a concert of somebody that I don't listen to or like. But you would think that. But if it's a good concert, you don't really yeah, mind. You're just kind of chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been to shows of people that I don't really know, and I've had a fantastic time. Yeah, really? that's yeah. I mean, that's just well, like appreciating. I've never been to a concert though. before, so I can't really. Oh yeah, I forgot what? you're a fucking loser. Yeah. I don't know why I've never <laughs> been to one. You've never been to a live show at all, uh-huh. like nothing. We no. must change that. Not even like fucking praise the Lord. Come on, make nice praise the Lord. Oh like yeah, you church? were raised in like church, like a Baptist church. No, I've never been to a yeah. Baptist church. Wow, poser. <laughs> I'm is, white. What, what is he posing to? What? Wait. What? What? Wait. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He what sings gospel music all the time, but he's never been to yeah, a gospel service. You're just because I got the Lord in my soul. There ain't no I white have Baptist. To the church. Any white Baptists <laughs> that watch us, just know you're not white anymore. <laughs> this is a confusing is day. That was a, that was a blanket statement know. on my part. What have you guys been know. doing today? Uh, um, I ate pancakes and I showed up here. That's it. I waited for a package and it didn't show up, so I went to the gym and now I'm playing Mario Golf. I Fuck ate a butterless yeah. McMuffin and then played Forza Horizon. Nice. Four. Yeah, that game's Let's fun. Go. I'm pretty addicted to it. Really? Mm-hmm. You know I what I like about it is that like game. you can you can go to a race in that game and then um, become like a racist. Whatever car you're racing. in. Whatever car you're in, it'll put you in that, like, all the other cars will be that same, like, class. Yeah. So you can't be in, like, a Ferrari racing a bunch of, like, 60s, like, 70s chargers, you know? No. Well, you can if you set it to, like, using whatever car you want. You just set it to, like, class. So, like, A, B, or whatever the fuck, S1, S2, and X class. So Mm -hmm. you can kind of race whatever there. But, but yeah. I don't know. You you can kind of... Just go based off what you're driving. But yeah, it's a fun game. Me buys Smitty and Eli played the shit out of it when it came out. And I'm excited for the new one. Ew. Last Anyone one I played was the first one. anything to contribute there? Nope. <laughs> so, I don't play racing games. Do you guys games. play any racing games I like games Mario ever? Kart. 
<laughs> Mario Kart is a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, I play as Black Yoshi. And you still are terrible. Why do you play terrible. as that character? <laughs> because Black Yoshi. Do you feel like mm. you're missing out in, in life that you have to compensate? In as game? a black dinosaur, yeah, McNasty. <laughs> yeah, he's missing black dinosaurs in his real life. He needs he needs that in Marioville. I meant do they the make color. Black dinosaur dildos. Yeah, they're called dragon dildos. Dragons mm. are dinosaurs. I want a Yoshi ever, cop. You ever seen a dragon dildo? Yeah, unfortunately, pictures. I, I have. So, yeah. they're, they're weird. They're like the tip is really small, and then it gets like really fat, like a football. Yeah. Why don't they yeah. just use a football? <laughs> yeah, the football is literally that. <laughs> <laughs> football is literally skinny at the top <laughs> and really fat, like a football. You just put that in your ass. Why? A, why a dragon? Dragons aren't even. They're not fucking real. Neither are what? furries, but you, you know, know I, still, like, you know, I can speculate shit. on that. A lot of people have have. There's a theory behind dragons being real, like not oh now, God, obviously. Let me hear it. But like oh back in the day, oh well, no. uh, there, there's I can't even remember the exact like terms used, but like in the Bible and stuff, there was a lot oh, of yes. a lot <laughs> of words. Oh, okay, I'm, not, yes. I'm not, yes. I'm not being, I'm not being a fucking preacher right now. I'm saying that there's like words that have been translated in the Bible. The totally factual. A lot of it, ha- a lot, the words, <laughs> the, the words have been translated from. You know, I'm not even other animals. I'm not even going to speak. I'm trying to explain myself, and you guys are talking over me. Because you're yeah, retarded. Yeah. You just Come use on, the Bible section. as a reference about Comment dragons. Comment section, defend so. me. Goons <laughs> picking on me nasty. That's a new one. You use the Bible is... as a reference to dragons being real. I had to have like crack a joke in <laughs> yeah, the I think we go. You I can't think just we're... breeze over that without some <laughs> yeah. shit being thrown at you. Yeah, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're, I think we're on one. And then God came down used. on a dragon to meet the people. It's not It's not just the Bible. and Jesus had a photo shoot together last week. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Nancy. I'm sorry. As someone raised in the Bible Belt, I've never heard anyone say that the Bible talked about <laughs> dragons. So this is very interesting. <laughs> Come on, Pastor McNasty. Let's hear it. <laughs> Come on, McNasty. Tell the word. Tell the good word of the Lord and dragons. <laughs> dragon tales. Dragon tales. <laughs> was was Spyro Bible biblically accurate? I should say. <laughs> Yeah, Spyro is a biblical game. <laughs> Come on, you can't be mad at us. If I said that, you would do the I'm exact not. same thing. I just know that if I start talking again, I'm just going to get talked over, so what the hell's going on? All right, all right, talk, we're done, talk. we're done, we're done. I'm not talking. You're a bitch. I'm not talking. We're moving on from this topic. What? No, Fuck you can't. You. I'm interested. No, I'm no, just going to say another know. thing, and then you're going to be like, oh, yeah, praise the Lord, and appear to the Spyro, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Just say I it. I want to know say about it. dragons in the Bible. Guys, no making been jokes words. on the funny podcast. There have been words that have been yes. trained. You, Only so you know serious the, words about dragons. You know dragons. how the Bible has been translated over different languages over thousands of years, yes. right? Yes. Yep. So there have been words that have described beings as, as dragons that have been like translated over that time. And just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm so like, my mind is so jumbled now. I can't even think of what I was going to talk about. Uh... Well, that would be cool if dragon were real. Absolutely. There, there's love, just if you Skyrim. if you look it up, there's like a lot of conspiracies that dragons have existed, like a long time ago. Yeah, there's also conspiracies that Obama's a lizard. So. Like a thing. Uh, oh, oh, another yeah, thing. Another thing is hold on. There's there is one that like, in the Bible. There's one <laughs> thing. So so T Rex is right. You know you know T Rex is <laughs> yes. fucking yeah. dinosaur. So the uh-uh. only thing we've ever really found from T Rex is like as a whole is the head and the, the head of a T Rex, and we not? we haven't really like. A lot of the people that have found like bones from a T Rex don't. They didn't find it all together. Like there wasn't there wasn't a T Rex that was all together that was just underground, like perfectly preserved in oh, space. So we slayed the dragons and cut their heads off. <laughs> so a lot of people think mm. that the like. Well, I mean, dragons don't really have. I don't fucking know. You'd you'd have to look it up. Well, I mean, you'd have to you'd have to. Look I mean, it dragons up. can be whatever you want them to be because they 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 don't exist from our current understanding. Yeah, I mean, like dragging these nuts across. Yo mama. Are you done? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> Listen, McNasty, you sound passionate about that topic. So if you I'm, would like I'm not. to uh I was just trying to explain it and then well, I you're couldn't knowledgeable. Say you're knowledgeable about that then. About you're more Jesus knowledgeable dragon. about I that guess. than I am. Yeah. Yes. I guess, yeah. Thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment. I'm not used to compliments. <laughs> I don't know if that one is. You <laughs> nasty, we love you. You just cannot expect to bring up. I can't just explain out of thin things air. very well. Okay. 
Yeah, we know that. Which I'm not is a why good explainer. We, we use that time to make jokes because when you just casually say, you know, dragons were in the Bible. Like, there's just like that just is not said in a room of three retards and we don't make jokes. Like, that. Uh, that's uh, that's that's an interesting topic. <laughs> thank it you really for the, is. Thank you for the dragon Bible. I feel like Alex Jones has covered this on his show before. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. There's dragons Probably. in the Bible. <laughs> so, what do you, what do we do with this conspiracy though? Is what I don't get. These like certain conspiracies, like like the flat Earth one. What do, what do I, I mean, do with not, that? It's not really like you don't, don't sail it too far. Solve anything? You're kind of just like, oh, well, that's cool. Well, I mean, like, yeah. flat Earth is kind of stupid, like... It is very well, stupid. stupid. Anyone that fuck. thinks the Earth is flat but is like, fucking oh, dumb. it's genuinely fucking stupid, You yeah. just pissed off half our viewers, man. That's fine. They're, they're, they don't want to spell it. Fix your tinfoil hat, comments. you'll be okay. <laughs> it's falling over. <laughs> yeah, that, that is one I've just, like, even if, theoretically, if the world was flat, what are we, what are, like, why is that being hidden, and what are we supposed to do with it? Am I supposed to just, huh? like... Throw away my globe and be angry at the government. I don't like. I don't. <laughs> what are they trying to gain by saying that that's the Earth what is I, round? That's it's what like, I'm getting yeah, at. I don't like, understand. <laughs> like, what, like, what what leg up do they have on us? People want to feel woke. <laughs> oh people yeah. People want to feel like they oh, yeah. know more than anybody, even the government, even scientists, and that and they were scholars right and historians. Everyone else. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, I mean, I don't trust the government with, in every regard, but like, no, I, I don't think not. that the Earth is flat. It's okay to flat. question things, but something that you can like blatantly see by putting two beams of light over extended distances. Yeah, there's like, oh, there's they're countless, not watching. I wonder why. There's countless yep. evidence and and scientific proof that the wor- world is circle. Yes, this <laughs> circle. <laughs> we got what he meant. <laughs> it's just a wrong yes. word, but Round. he meant the right thing. So so it's a circle, flat. but the circle it's just like a circle. CD. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Do you guys think Bigfoot's real? Um, uh, I mean, there's like I don't, a possibility. I don't think he's alive. Bigfoot. If he is, I think if he is, he's it, it's just just bones underground. He tired. He's in Hawaii, <laughs> <laughs> chilling on a private beach, he's hanging out with Elvis. <laughs> Elvis, Him and Tupac, Tupac. <laughs> The, the caffeine Elvis antivirus and guy and Hitler, the holy, the holy Trinity, Osama, <laughs> all the boys hanging out. <laughs> Just, Fuck. Uh, Do you guys see those Bigfoot cutouts, like statues everywhere? Excuse me. What? Everywhere. What everywhere. everywhere. What is a cutout? There's one in my bedroom. Fucking everywhere. What the hell is happening in South Carolina? I can't yeah, escape I the Bigfoot cutouts. They are fucking. <laughs> everywhere dude i don't know what is going what the trend is or who the fuck is making these but whoever is making these sasquatch cutouts is making a goddamn fortune i like i didn't know that this was big business because monkey man listen we could have made some money we could have made some fucking money Wait, dude, there's are cutouts these, everywhere. Are these hold on can you explain this yes. a little bit what do you mean it's just a silhouette right it's not a detail it's just like a no it's just a silhouette cutout no, of fucking bigfoot i have seen one of those dude it was in, fucking everywhere it wasn't like who a was farm making these it was in a farm somewhere i can't remember dude I yes don't why no it's, what? no it's literally like a black bigfoot cutout. yes, okay. yes that's what i'm talking put them about on their, like, he's on the farm yards huh? and shit Dude, I see them <laughs> everywhere. I, I drive down the road. They're in people's yards. I saw two of them what in a the row fu- the other day. Yeah. I've what is going on in Carolina? Like, like, like it's a, a, a campaign sign that's like just Sasquatch yeah. in somebody's <laughs> yard? <laughs> yes. For squash, bro. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a yard gnome kind of thing. It's almost like a decoration. Like people. Who is it well, scaring away? Your neighbors? <laughs> it's like. People with little feet, I guess. I. People with, yeah, small shoed individuals. Small feet. <laughs> <laughs> small foot. Dude, I see them fucking every- I'm gonna try and find a picture of it. Yeah, I just don't understand who that's for. I it's don't like, know. It's one of those things, like, when I seen it, it was, it was out on the edge of, like, a farm. And it was, like, right on the corner. So when you drive by, you see it in your peripheral vision. And you're like, what the fuck? And then you look at it, and you're like, oh, it's just a cutout. What yeah, exactly that. Soon? Dude, what? I see. Them, I'm not joking. I see them. It's just kind of made to like freak you out for a second, and then, then you'd be like, "Oh, would get freaked out. out." That's this big monkey cutout. I mean, if you're driving by and you don't really notice it at first, and you kind of like see it, it your your brain kind of like processes it at first, like, "Oh, maybe that's a fucking human or something." And you're like, "Oh no, just big foot cutout." 
Huh. I have not yeah. seen a single one of these. I want yeah, a whole I fence know. made I've only out seen of them. one. I want a fence around my house of just those. <laughs> I want to put those in every window in my house, so it just always looks like I'm having big Sasquatch party. Got all the boys over. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody breaking into that house. Yeah, I'm going dude, to break into that and just see a fucking Sasquatch. I shit you not. Half. I shit you not. They're, they are everywhere. I was in a restaurant the other day and I was walking to the bathroom. One was serving you. One was just on the wall, like towards what? the bathroom area. And I'm like, dude, it's everywhere. I so can't is this escape. some, is this some like dark cult? web cult? Yeah. That, yeah, that's what I was going to say. A cult that's like, I think it's just, just a guy who makes those out. and sells them. He probably sells them. You can probably get those on Amazon. I'm but looking. Why? I don't know. That, but they're making that, some fucking money. It, that is the question more than anything of, of just why we could do these things, but why do we do those things? <laughs> why, why do people do put garden that? gnomes in their yard? Because they're stupid. What do you mean? Scare off. Exactly. Scare off just answer your own question. You, you use it to scare off fairies. The same reason you. Never mind. Have a XXL <laughs> life size seven foot tall Bigfoot Yeti Sasquatch sighting cabin wall decor. God, that Fifty five dollars. People are paying fifty plus dollars. Fifty five dollars, <laughs> bro. Yeah, that, I mean that, it's not exactly. We're just selling that's, Sasquatch. That's shit. pretty much. I don't it, think, it's probably not even foldable. You, you, it probably comes in that big long package and <laughs> <laughs> fucking poor mailman. <laughs> <laughs> just a like seven I've, foot I've had a tall desktop. Yeti. I've had the top of a desk delivered that's smaller than that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really have much commentary for this other than what the fuck is even that. Yeah. Be on the lookout. They're making their way to Canada. They'll no, be they're, there. They're not. They're just not. They'll be there. They won't. You'll be walking through the snow one day and you'll see one lurking. It is 84 <laughs> degrees outside. There is That's no a really snow. good Canadian accent. <laughs> Proud of you. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. You're welcome. You guys want to answer fine. some questions or what? Let's no, answer I some questions. Okay. I want to sit in silence for 43 minutes. Dear liberal, what is your shoe source? Um, Okay. We can do questions. (laughs) Uh, First question. uh, uh, Is there a game that you enjoy playing privately that you wish could be monetized slash profitable? Anything you play Uh, on your free time that you know if you upload it on YouTube just wouldn't do good? I mean, pretty much everything I play on my free time, but I don't want to. I don't want to stop playing it as free time. Like I don't. That's the reason I don't like playing multiplayer games anymore. It's because like it's our job now. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't understand mm-hmm. that. It's like working an eight-hour you know uh, shift as a cook and then coming home and cooking more by yourself, but without getting paid. It's just like I don't. Yeah, you have do to have that. some time off camera for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I just I like single-player games. Like me RPG too. Like games. I. When I was on uh, playing Xbox the other day, the, well, I was looking, I was actively looking for games that were story based and not multiplayer. Yeah, like the thought yeah, of just playing, playing Call of, of Duty on my Xbox just sounds hell like no, hell. fucking terrible. Yeah. I try and explain that to my friends without sounding like a dick when they're like, "Hey, we should like hop on some Warzone or like something sometime." I'm like, "You're just like, ugh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all like, paying me?" <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is too is none of us are gamers. We play games. I mean. That's like, not true. I don't That's know. That's not true at all. I think I we're all gamers. Games. <laughs> I'm, I think you're the only one, McNasty. <laughs> I, mean, I play games almost well, I just every mean, day. Like, even so I, I, I play recording. games. Like, I, I, I guess gamer was a bad word. I mean, like, competitive gamer. Oh, like, no, we're not like, a, oh, we don't really have like, that grizzly in us nerds. that gets mad at, like, losing no. a match or something. No. Yeah, no, definitely No, no. So it's like when we play, if, if we play Warzone or, like, if we were still playing Siege, like, playing Siege by ourselves, we don't really feel like we're. I don't know. Like, am I? It feels weird. Like, am I, if I play Warzone on my free time with a friend, do I feel like am I going to be mm-hmm. funny? Or I, I know I suck at the game, so it's not like I can try hard and be good. It's like yeah, there's no really I don't like know. I don't feel it at I don't feel at home playing those kinds of games unless I'm with you guys trying to be funny. Yeah, I used to yeah. be competitive and like want to really play stuff about the game like that. that much. But oh yeah, I me just, too. I just don't anymore. I yeah. just all I play is single player games. Like I've played Assassin's Creed recently, all of them. Um, played the Ooh, Metro games again. Uh, Cyberpunk, obviously, just a bunch of games like that. I uh, played what's yep. the fuck? I forget what it's called. Um, it was actually pretty fun. They're like, there's like massive hordes of zombies. Um, and it's that the story. Like a lot of games. The, the story was way too Greg. long. No, it was like their whole fucking thing. It was it was originally PS4 launch. Um, Days Gone. That's it. Oh, Days Gone. Yeah, I played that recently. Uh, and that was yeah. fun, but Swagger way was too that fucking long. 
a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Or like a month ago or something. Yeah, I, I just love single player games. I don't really play multiplayer games outside of recordings, like, ever anymore. It's just not... I'll yeah. occasionally hop on, like, CSGO just to play it. Really? That's one thing I wish that CSGO, because I've always enjoyed CSGO. I wish that mm-hmm. CSGO still did, like, like it used to on YouTube. Like, CSGO yeah. was the game to play a few years ago. Well, and now to be it's fair, just like, there was also, like, you know, Fitz carrying the fuck out of CSGO on YouTube, like, in terms of funny moments. There's still, YouTube is still massive for, like, competitive content creators, and even some funny moments, YouTube is still, you know, main CSGO, and they still do great. But, like, Fitz just brought so many extra yeah. viewers to that, where, like, yeah, people I mean, like also us had, would like, pop up in the recommended because of it. You also had, like, Chawboy and Azzy, they were... Yeah, that big. was years ago though. They they mm-hmm. they just did fucking case openings the last like year and a half of their main. <laughs> well, thing. that's the thing too is like the the skin economy was keeping that game. Yeah, uh, it definitely. It didn't was, hurt I wouldn't it. say it was keeping it alive, but it was definitely. No, it definitely didn't hurt at all. Helping out, yeah. Like yeah. people would, I would see people upload like they'd be on like a betting website, and the video would get like two million views. It mm-hmm. do better than like funny moments videos sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's always entertaining watching, watching somebody else kind of spend stuff. their fucking money. Right. Well, never gambling is very entertaining. Even though it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. that funny. Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it is entertaining. I love going to like a casino with friends and I'll gamble a little bit and then just watch them throw like thousand dollars away and I'm just like that's a lot more fun than throwing my own thousand dollars away. <laughs> I love giving my, I love giving my friends yeah. money to gamble. Like I was <laughs> I was with <laughs> my friend. Fun on, as fuck, actually. Dude, it, it, it's hilarious because like I was with one of my friends and uh, I gave him like I think I gave him like fifty bucks and we went to like a blackjack table that was like a $15 minimum. And nice. he's just like, here just goes an hour of work. Just like him, just like talking about like, <laughs> <laughs> and there goes my rent, yeah, car payment. Like- <laughs> God, I miss gambling. Yeah. Gambling is so much fun. Dude. I forgot I love to really like have a gambler do. I was, I was you until COVID hit. Wait, dude, uh, can you gamble online where you live? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because yeah, I'm really like watching to do your Discord. <laughs> oh, I, wanted, yeah. I wanted to ask before, I, before talking yeah. about how entertaining it was watching <laughs> you gamble in Discord flirting with the fucking lady handing oh, out the Oh, that cards. is such a good meme. It's, <laughs> oh, oh, that was just you, right? Where it was like yeah. a live person? Yeah, but yeah, you were just like, like so Oh, yeah, I was like telling you shit to say in the chat, right? <laughs> Yep. I was about yeah, to tell yeah. you. I was about to tell uh, you there was sites like that with live people, and then I remembered that it was with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. 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 There's there's sites for people who don't know where where I don't trust the websites where it's just a a bot just RNGing your hand because yeah. then you're gonna get ripped the hell off. But like there's mm-hmm. sites where you play at like a a live casino where there's actual cards and a dealer, and yeah. there's a chat that you could talk to people through. And I love to go on there and gamble and say shit like. I fell out of my damn wheelchair. Like I need my ass wiped <laughs> yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's and they a just good stop meme. Replying to you. It, and it's their job to kind of interact with you, so they look so uncomfortable. <laughs> it's great, dude. I, no, I'm so I'm, sorry. I hope the IRS isn't listening. But I used to go on like the Bitcoin gambling sites before like Bitcoin blew up. Yeah. And dude, that was such a fun time. And it got to the point where Bitcoin got so popular, and I was mad because gambling's illegal in my state. Oh, and the, no. <laughs> they finally caught up. They finally caught up to the Bitcoin place, and now it's blocked. Oh. And I'm so mad because it was that's such so a fun weird. Time. That's that weird online that is game or online gambling is illegal in certain states. That's yeah. so bizarre. I don't think it's illegal anywhere here that I know of. I don't know. I, mean, I might be wrong. It's kind of odd know. because you think about it, and gambling is only really illegal at locations where they have the Indian laws set. So it's weird that you can do it online from your own house. Like, are they are they dealing at a casino? I don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't know I don't anything know. about U.S. gambling. I don't no, know well, anything about you, your gambling. That's what it is. So you can only gamble at a casino, and casinos are on like Indian property, and in like Native Americans have their own like laws. Wait. You know? Yeah, the reservation. Wait, the only way you can gamble is if it's Native American property. I mean, you can invite some buddies over and play mm. poker. I don't think fucking cops uh, are gonna like go on international waters. Like, there's a Wait. casino boat. There's what? there's a casino boat that'll take you to international waters so you can gamble. Yeah. Like Denny's, Denny's can't host a poker night. You know, <laughs> it has to be at like a like for yeah. like legal gambling, like that's that's controlled. That's why people in America right. have like gambling. Like basements, like they'll have like little areas in their house with like a bar and everything. Well, they'll, they'll in like invite people over to have Wait, like poker nights. So you're stuff. telling me like half of Las Vegas is Native American property? 
I don't, I don't know who owns Las Vegas. I think that like, that's like a, that a different. I think it's that's like just own, a different thing. See, I, don't, I feel like yeah. that can't be true everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's got to be like circumstances where you can just like anybody, as long as they have enough money, can open a casino in a certain state. Like, I feel like it's not maybe it's state by state. I'm not sure. But here yeah, you can't you can't be. open a casino just like in the middle of nowhere. It has to oh, be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. Right. There's obviously right. you know rules yeah. about it, but but then you can walk in a gas station and they have like slot machines. <laughs> it's, what a weird I don't know. place. That's how it is in Vegas and it's Reno definitely, too. Definitely weird laws like that mm. are annoying because I don't get it. Like I can just fly to Vegas and gamble all I want, but I can't like do it here. I don't. Know. Yeah, it's I don't. Weird. That seems extremely bizarre. I don't know what I went the to, fuck the laws are in Canada. So I, can't I went to really... Reno a few years ago, and we went into a grocery store, and there was like an old person sitting at a slot machine in the grocery store, and she had like six bags of groceries just sitting around her while she was just pressing the button. <laughs> They're just rotting. <laughs> I guess like <laughs> in like four days. You really can't get away from your <laughs> your addiction for that long. That's fucked. Addicted to that shit, dude. It's it's actually like scary how addicted some people are to gambling. Like Danielle mm-hmm. and I stayed at a. Um, like a, it's basically just a big casino. It's called Caesars Windsor. Um, and we stayed there and the entire time I was there, every time I walked, we stayed two nights. Every time I walked by this machine, this lady was on it. I, I don't think she went to bed, slept, ate or did anything for like two days. It's, it's actually like frightening how addicted people you are. You know what it shit. is too is like. I, I noticed this a lot now. I mean, it, pr- it probably wasn't the same back then, but now they have the big machines and, you know, it's like everything's animated and oh, even, yeah. even the smallest of rewards are just like, you're a winner. Bing, bing, yeah. bing, ding, ding. And everything's yeah. so Instant fucking gratification. Huge. And yeah, yeah and I feel it's like, like you won $2. I feel like that's kind of what they're searching <laughs> for too. Like back then you had to pull this lever up and like these things, like this mechanic <laughs> machine would spin on the end. <laughs> Turns into <laughs> <bumblebee>. <laughs> Autobots roll out. That'd be sick. Yeah, but these these things like spin in there, and if you won anything, it wasn't really like a. I mean, maybe there would be like a little bit of a a jingle. You would just yeah, bunch of coins. Yeah, so it's just like I feel like that's what's making it more bad now. Is just the. I feel like all all people just got better at it. People got better at gambling, and they learned how to beat the house. And like, obviously, they're not gonna let that slide. Yeah, Yeah. like people were getting good at like counting cards and blackjack, which is why they have like multiple decks now. Yeah. And they have like people like pit bosses that watch and they change the decks. So like yeah. everything's way more randomized now than it was back then. Like back yeah. then, dude, I used to read books of people that would like fucking they they were like they went to some fucking school. They were like geniuses and they go to Vegas and just win a shit ton of money because of how good and quick they were at math, like counting cards yeah. and stuff. I think that's isn't as hard as as it seems. It's actually pretty easy. It's yeah, just yeah, but like, really, if you're really being good able, at math, being it makes it able better. to do it in the situation while yeah. like drinking yes. and being social with the people around you and not and giving off obvious without yeah. making it obvious yeah. that you're sitting there going, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, yeah. <laughs> the thing is with with counting cards, it's 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 still a guessing game. It's not like an exact science. You just you, you you're increasing your odds by counting. It takes cards, a lot of the happening. RNG right. out of it, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's like, that's the main point of it. Something like the count can be higher and your odds of winning are lower and all right. that. So you go but on like, like a plus one or minus one. You're not system. just counting your cards, you're counting the dealers and the other people playing with you. So like that whole time you're like keeping track with everybody's hand and what they're doing. Fuck like right. I couldn't so. even remotely enjoy playing if I had to no. do all that. Well that's the thing. They don't enjoy playing. They're just there for money. Yeah. They're there, yeah, they're, to, make, they're, they're there, there to, to make fucking money. win. Which is sad if you're there to make your living. But, yeah. <laughs> well, they were doing it back before that, like the casinos caught on. So right. they were they were like guaranteed to pretty much win. Mm-hmm. It's still wild. <laughs> I, Which I that just, could have been a fictional book as well, but it I, actually I, I, did. Like, no, people, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was a, a not common thing, but I'm pretty sure that was a very real thing. Yeah, it definitely happened. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, I just I can't imagine taking something that's so like supposed to just be fun and just making it math homework. I don't, I don't think I'd enjoy that. That's because Math rock. It's money. Money changes people. No. They're not, it's not like <laughs> it's you're not playing, me. it's not like you're at home playing Madden and then you take your team and boost all the stats and then you win the Super Bowl. 
There's no like prize after that. You just win the Super Bowl on Madden 21. Well, that's a prize. <laughs> but if you if if you were if you could change your stats on a Madden team and you won the Super Bowl and then you won 10 grand after that, then a lot of people would do. That. Yeah, I guess. I just I don't know. I feel like if you're looking at gambling as a way to make money rather than something that's just fun, you I feel like you're already fucking yourself up right there. Like you're well, already yeah. setting yourself I up go- for failure. I go to the casino assuming I'm spending money today. Yeah, Not, but it's the thing just is, if you're, fun. If you're <laughs> yeah. going, if you're going to gamble and you have no upper hand, then yeah, you're 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 fucking stupid. But these people have the upper hand and they know that they're going to win, so that they go and do it and earn money. They probably still have fun doing right. it, but it's yeah, they know for a fact that they're going to win. So it's like yeah, it's different. Like I, I feel like now, if you're like yeah, I'm going in here, I'm going to win money. That's a bad way to look at it. But back then, they knew that they were going to win. They could, so yeah. It's yeah, 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 that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah, I, I, that, that's, uh, that's a better way to look at it, I guess. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. That's just, uh, that is not, not a fun addiction. It's very question. fun. It's not so bad. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> question number oh, I hate that I yeah, do. I'm glad, I'm glad that I don't have casinos here, because I would go to them way too much. We have one where I'm at, but everybody's just like, dude, it's, it's AIDS. Like, it's not a fun casino at all. It just smells and... Old people, <laughs> their diaper there, are. and it's just old people it's and, just and shit. cigarettes. Yeah, it's all. I shit. feel like a baby fresh out the womb when I go into a casino, man. Yeah, literally. I don't. I don't want to sound racist here. Oh, okay. hey. oh boy. here it comes. What He's gonna it? say something racist. <laughs> okay. Is Nothing? it just? Oh, I don't, it might just be my experience, but it, I, I feel like every time I go to a casino, like half of the people there are Asian. Is that just a uh, me oh, thing? No, that's. Yes, they. It's very common in their culture to like gambling. That's not a racist. I mean, thing. yeah, that's yeah, that's just that's, part of. Their if culture. it's true, is it not racist? <laughs> well, I don't. Well, I don't if know. you uh, said all Asian people gamble, but yeah, it is yeah, true if that you're blanketing a lot of, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it is true that there's a lot of Asian people at casinos. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. All Absolutely. Right. I feel a lot better about myself. Yeah, that'd be like saying a lot of white people like NASCAR <laughs> or something. Yeah, Only white people like true. NASCAR. <laughs> Yeah, it's still it's the whole so I've seen, I've seen some shit. <laughs> mm, cursed. Uh, uh, did you guys ever watch NASCAR? No. no. My no. the I'd my literally first, rather watch anything than NASCAR. My yeah. first stepdad when I was a child, he uh, was obsessed with NASCAR, and sometimes I would have to sit there for fucking hours watching cars go one way in a circle, and then occasionally stop sometimes. <laughs> I, I feel just, like that's one of those things that's way more it. fun when you're actually there as opposed to watching it on TV. Well, like, he, I feel was like a, if he was we a drunk, to, too. So he probably enjoyed a lot more because he was consistently drunk. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. anything's fun when you're consistently drunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, the frog dentist? genocide is fun when you're drunk. I mean, That's fun all the time. Yeah, that's okay, come yeah, on, true. Soup. <laughs> anyway, what are we talking our, about? I got so distracted <laughs> by frog genocide. Are we going to answer questions? We kind of went uh, off on a tangent. If you have a chance to be a, a guest on any TV talk show, who would you pick? Oprah. <laughs> Why I Oprah? Imagine you'd be on Oprah? I don't know. I feel like it'd be fun to scare old white women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would All be right. fun. You should go on Ellen then, probably. Yeah. But that Either would be, one. I, I'd love I to walk like- out and just be like, how the fuck y'all doing, motherfuckers? <laughs> but wouldn't you they want to be on a talk show that would like shit. help advance your career? <laughs> they would clap if you said racist shit on Ellen. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. Dude, have you seen the shit about Wendy Williams and like how awful of a human being she is? Oh yeah, yeah. she's yeah. fucking garbage. She consistently calls for the death of people. What is that about? Like that's like a know. thing on her show. She'll be talking about like some celebrity, like Rihanna and Chris Brown, to the death of both of them. I, I, don't, I don't know what her problem is. Dude, what a I saw, weird woman. I saw one clip recently. It was just like, I just have no idea what the fuck she was getting at. She's just like, has anyone heard of this guy? It was like, I, I believe he's a rapper and like TikTok star. Oh, um, I know what you're talking about. And she's yeah. like, has anyone heard of this guy? Raise her hand. And like, not many people raise their hand. And then she's like, he has whatever, three point something million followers and everyone gasps mm-hmm. and stuff. And they're like, but you don't know who he is. And they're like, okay, like, what are you getting at? And she's like, but he's dead. 
<laughs> what are you weird? What are you? Yeah, she compared. At? She compared. What made it even weirder is how she compared him to her. She's like, "Well, he's got more followers than me, and he's dead." Yeah, it's like it's like what? What? <laughs> That's, what are you? That, what are you getting what? at? What is, what is the point? I don't, I don't know. That's, that's the point. Is that we don't know? Even her, like her audience, viewers had no idea what she was getting at. Her audience is wine moms. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, no shit. It's it's daytime TV. They're all wine moms. <laughs> yeah, but she she really really panders. She's like she's like the Trump of of female talk shows. She really she is. tells everybody who, what they want. What's the what the who the, who the, who the, who the, who the she tells That's everybody what they want to hear. Yeah. Well, all the all the moms. Yeah, she'll be talking about some guy, and then she's just like she'll get like horny. I should be like, I'd last a couple of rounds with him. <laughs> she like say some sexual comment just, towards like Chris Brown or something. Her coochie and gets going at it mid show. <laughs> just mid show, she just gets naked. <laughs> so, slapping her coochie with the fucking dildo in front of everybody. Just gets uh, horny as fuck. How you doing? <laughs> oh, that was uh. What a way to put that. Yeah. So we're talking about some guys. Talking about some guns. She didn't get horny. <laughs> she wants to fucking rail his little ass. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. That was a weird way to put that, McNasty, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, she, I mean, she just makes like sexual comments towards She'll like, make very uh, offhanded yeah. sexual comments. But Ellen right. does that shit too. Did you see fucking. She had uh, Zach Efron on. <laughs> And she's like talking about how fit he was in one of his movies. And he's Dude, like, I would fuck Zach Efron, and I would say that well, nationally. Yeah, everybody, everybody, would, everybody fuck would. Zach What Efron. do you mean? Shut up. Yeah, I um, let him even, bend me over. Even Ellen, but, uh, the lesbian, the queen of lesbians, or the <laughs> king. I, oh okay. boy! <laughs> Just say what you were gonna now say. Now you have done it, nasty. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say king. I don't know if that's right. Still. Just I think say she's ruler, just a so that yeah. the owner of lesbians. Okay, that's um, worse. She's not a fucking plantation owner. <laughs> you're a McNasty, slave you're, master. You're making this so much worse. <laughs> master okay. the, the anyway, Lesbian final apparently boss. Apparently she basically was. Yeah, lesbian <laughs> raid lesbian boss. Final boss. <laughs> right? Raid? Right? She, she's the lesbian <laughs> idol. She's like the lesbian idol. No, she's not. She's she's like, she's she's raging raging bitch. Bitch. Gay people are on Okay, it? but anyway, she was talking about Zac Efron, how to fucking Lesbians. cut out of him or picture, whatever the fuck, was talking about how good his body looked there. And he's just like, he was trying to, you know, be positive and be like, yeah, you know, I trained really hard for that and stuff, but that's not a realistic expectation for, you know, oh, me he was or anyone guard? else. Yeah, and, he, and he's yeah, like, you know, that. no, nobody should be striving for this. Like, I was actually probably more unhealthy there or whatever, just talking about it. And she's like, oh, I bet you look good right now. And just like lifts his shirt up in front of everybody. Assault. Like, assault. Assault. Literally assault. Sexual assault. Okay. <laughs> Like, just, just imagine just, if he did that back to her. <laughs> Shut Let's up. see your titties, Ellen. Let's see them saggy <laughs> lesbo titties. <laughs> like literally. See, that's why I fuck? couldn't go on a talk show. Oh yeah, I would have yeah, swung on her ass. Yeah. Or because you <laughs> lift up their shirts. Well, it's confused. kind of funny because like it, I feel like that things like that that happen in a show happen so far apart. But once you like make a compilation of all the times they've done shit like that. Then it's like you start to realize. I feel like that's where really what happened with Ellen. People started realizing because a of massive bitch. People on YouTube who make videos of every single time Ellen's been a piece of shit. That you start to realize, wow, this person's done it nine hundred fucking times. Well, they yeah, just apparently. done it over the course of a million episodes. Apparently, yeah. she's a piece of shit all the time to her. Yeah, staff, I, she was like a like to her or not her audience, but her uh, her like workers and stuff backstage. The only uh, the only reason I find about that shit is because Twitter. Yeah, Twitter oh, trending. Yeah. If I see it on trending, like Ellen is a piece of shit. I'm gonna go in there and be like, "Why is Ellen a piece of shit?" And then it tells yeah, see, me. Yeah, that's I just what I that. do. And then it's usually just like she said a bad word when she was nine, and it's like, okay, nobody cares. Yeah, yeah like, like see, there it's is yeah. genuine again. Yeah, there's yeah, genuine the, criticism for a lot of people. Too. It's hard to find viable shit. Yes, anymore it is. on the internet. Mm -hmm. Twitter has become such a dog shit platform too. Yeah, what's I forget? One Minecraft YouTuber was getting canceled the other day. Tommy and. Yeah, I don't. Was it? I don't know. Whatever. One yeah. of those. Well, fucking, he's one of them. I one guess. Of those, uh, I but, one of those dream mother yuckers. Um, but he literally somebody in his chat was just like, "Are you a lesbian?" He's like, "I don't think I'm a lesbian. Maybe I'll be a lesbian." And like, whatever. Went off on oh, you know, an unfunny, unfunny, oh, no. random, you know, just lesbian comment because I don't know, didn't know what to talk about. I guess. And it was just like the most unoffensive, just. Uh -huh. Weird conversation ever, and Twitter went on a fucking rampage. It's weird to me how up, it, like, sh sexual shit like that upsets people. 
I don't like. Why does that make people so angry? I don't know. I don't understand it's that. Not like, like, oh, he, yeah. It's not like he went hey, on the street yeah, and was like, yeah, you fuck know, lesbians. I, you know, actually, yeah, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a lesbian. It's just not for me. What the fuck is wrong with you? So no, you it's don't like lesbians? It's because he was a guy and said he might be a lesbian. He's like, I don't know if I can be a lesbian. Maybe I'll be a lesbian. So like, ah, a guy can't say that or I don't know what the fuck their logic was. But it's stupid. Mm. My, the Minecraft oh, community makes 17 pick years old too? Yeah, they're, they're all like nine. Yeah. It's like 16 they're, and 17. Of bro, they're they're literally now. Bro, they're literally children being educated. I'm using air also, quotes by also, other children. Um, imagine so just stupid. making a joke. What a bizarre concept. No, there are no jokes in Twitter stands. There are no <laughs> imagine, jokes. Imagine uh. saying something and not meaning it. What and a they, weird way and these to look people, at this. you know what's you know what's great about these people too is that like something small like that, they so let's say they are correcting it, they so far overcorrect it, they call for like the death of their family and shit. I know it's like so bizarre. Like they think that what they're saying is right to it's, such a degree that that whatever they say is okay. Well, they, like they, kill they, your they family. replace <laughs> they replace yeah they replace like pro most of the time accidental you know harassment is what we'll call it. With legitimate being, harassment. Yeah, by being legitimately fucked. Yeah. yeah. It's so it's like It's stupid, like man. somebody can make a, a tiny mistake with something or miss say what, like, what they actually meant. And then it's like that just completely makes them like innocent from any onslaught that they bring towards this person. Yeah. I, I don't, it's a weird way. It's a weird I don't, like there has to be some kind of like dis like mental disability with oh, that Oh yeah, mindset. no, they, they are. Mm -hmm. They genuinely yeah. are. Like, Something is mentally not right with people that invest themselves that much with what other people are doing. And it's imagine like, somebody just making a genuine mistake. I think you're not allowed to make mistakes you know, anymore. You know, that, nah. That's the crazy thing. It's like imagine somebody just is not as educated as you are in a topic and they don't know that. So you just kindly go to them and explain your point of view. Yeah, that's, that's what of, I was going to say. Instead of wanting to put a knife to their throat and kill their family. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. And they're <laughs> like, I got to educate this person. But they never allow anybody to actually correct their changes and like learn from a mistake. They just constantly exactly. harass them. It's, it's like, like normalizing, hey, it's like norm okay. normalizing radical terrorist <laughs> shit. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, so You get one amazing. mistake in life and then you're just killed. That's it. You're done. Yeah. Nasty, you wondered why I never wanted to play Minecraft. It's the fans. <laughs> Minecraft well, even fans if, actually even if we really myself. got into Minecraft and we like started uploading no, it, and stuff, no, it would, it we would not gain them. that community. I, well, we wouldn't, we, but they would stumble if, upon us and they'd be like, "Oh my god, I got fucking cancel them." They said, well, the thing is, even if they even if they did, we <laughs> we have an army of people to back us up. They don't. But that's the thing. I'm Tommy, not trying to get in a fucking gang of Tommy, war. Hundred yeah. percent of their fans, <laughs> Minecraft gang wars. Yeah, but that would bring in so much like. Views. The stands or the coons. <laughs> I don't want wit. those views. I don't want fucking seven year olds trying to correct me because I said retard once. Shut up. I, I feel like it'd be fun. <laughs> I feel like it, I would. I would oh, no. genuinely. No. I would genuinely no. enjoy there consistently no pissing off that community. No, dude. Because like, fucking, nah, they're all have you ever seen, dude, have you ever seen how bad? Like, I'm gonna name drop here, but like Casey Tron. You guys obviously know Casey Tron. Uh, dude, Casey. Uh, her problem is she sure. she reacted to it too much. You can't give them. They're they're looking for that reaction, right? No, they're what you looking need to do for what Casey is, Tron did. What you did. need to do is tweet at gun. all the Minecraft. No, fucking tweet <laughs> out some racist <laughs> bullshit, and then when they're all attacking you, just tweet out a picture of your fucking gaping butthole, and that's it. And, <laughs> and then don't get on Twitter for a year. I would do that. Like, I would do that. See, that, that's, that's how you win. win. That's how you do that's it. That's fun. See, if I had that community come attack me, if I had that community come attack me. My reaction would be to be happy about. It. I think I would think it's fucking hilarious. It what, is what hilarious. With Casey Tron, they, they just are Casey Tron was trying to defend herself for a whole month, and she was getting genuinely mad about it all the time. And well, it's she just, means you can't, it now, you can't which is that way. Yeah, she, she memes it now, but like, dude, whenever I watch her streams, the first ten minutes is literally just people calling her a homophobe for some reason. Even though I don't, to my <laughs> you understanding, just have to I don't think she's ever said. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's ever said something homophobic, so it's quite. You have to, you uh, have to act like you don't give a shit. Well, or you if don't. you don't I mean, give a shit, just <laughs> don't give Schlatt. a shit. Schlatt's trending like twice a week because he said some shit. It's exactly, like, and yeah, and, yeah, and all that does for him is just boost his career. Yeah, because he doesn't, just, he doesn't I don't, care. I just don't have the energy to to fucking. Have I just don't fucking care enough. Twelve year olds yeah. attacking. I think it's. I would think I it's funny. I, I would, don't I think Minecraft is worth all that. I, w I would also think it's funny and like take jabs if it was to happen, but like I don't like 
give enough of a fuck to even try and wiggle my way into that area. Yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way to end up in that position. The only reason I was getting into Minecraft is because I was actually playing it for the first time and I was enjoying it. Like, I don't really touch it anymore. I haven't played it for a couple months, but I was actually enjoying the game. It wasn't like I was trying to get into that community. I was just playing the game Mm -hmm. and having fun with it. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's yeah. perfectly fine. I just, I fucking hate so that's, that. That's so that's why I wanted to play with you guys. Because I remember I played with Soup. We played that one a couple times, and that shit was pretty fun. But we just kind of stopped after that because you weren't really interested in the game. See, that was the thing is you guys just aren't really interested in the game at all. No, I like hate the game. <laughs> but Not I honestly think fan. I only hate the game because, like, it's so tainted for me by the community. Literally, block game makes me want to kill myself. I think about it, and I just, I want to end it all. Because I know somebody's going to just, oh, fucking Dream did this. I, I just would I love, don't want to see that in my chat. I would love for that community to come and watch all our videos and just like <laughs> no, I would not. They would, would not fuck all ass one video. I, no. I just I couldn't imagine being that offended by the most minor thing and then seeing the shit that we talk about and well, we get away they're, with. They're gonna have a hard time in life, you know. Yeah, yeah. if you're if you if you're that sensitive, it's like a PBS things, kid going to South Park. That's like hey, you're just taking yeah. a whole. Step. Yeah, that's a good example. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, they're 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 gonna have a hard time in life. That's just yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like uh, the for instance, like Swagger, he was uploading all the shit that he was playing from uh, that one S and P. What's it called? Yeah, Stinky he was he was pussy. doing Minecraft S and P's, and he was titling the, like the videos like "We need to build a wall" and shit like that. Yeah, and so <laughs> he, he was, he was, he was getting a lot of views, and he wasn't getting like he wasn't getting any slack for it. He wasn't he wasn't bringing that community to him, even though he was uploading videos that were like. Oh. offensive in minecraft <laughs> i get was, what you're saying like yeah there's enough audience for it to where there's not much overlap yeah i get what you're yeah. saying yeah it was it was we built a wall to keep them out great title <laughs> who are <laughs> them <laughs> <laughs> but see the thing is, is you make jokes like that because you oh god i don't know see that's why i feel like if we all played it's not it together, worth explaining if it's we all not, played it together it we would be even have, to have a good session out of it <laughs> Well, I think I think once these people grow up a little bit, they'll realize that this fake Twitter bullshit activism is the most harmful thing to real activism possible. Like it is right. the most harmful thing to actually, you know, getting people to take your shit seriously when you're getting mad about somebody like Fitz calling himself a retard and getting that trending. Mm-hmm. You just you yeah. bury actual issues that there's they, actual they think problems they care in the about. world. Yeah, they they like bury slavery these actual still exists issues. Literally. in some parts of the world, but you know, Fitz said retard. So oh yeah, God. like that. It's, yeah, it, it's like a Karen calling the fucking police force on a guy who accidentally walked in her yard for like one step yeah. while there's like a triple homicide going on down the road. <laughs> that is Twitter yeah. activism, literally. Yeah, yeah. that was like, a really good analogy, actually. Yeah, it is. It's just like you can show support and obviously you know speak you know, on the, what you believe in, but this whole like getting absurdly angry at people for minute things is just it's so useless for actual actual activism and it sucks i think what a lot of it is too is is they're kids and when you're when you're a kid and you're 12 13 14 you want to be an adult you want to have power you want to have a voice (laughs) <laughs> I you was not be, that way. No. You know, well, I, I, mean, was like, I was like, so you ever see like, like, up on Twitter, Twitter though? You don't remember yeah. being fourteen? These dino chicken nuggies ain't cutting it. I need yeah. cocaine and strippers. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't remember <laughs> being fourteen? Be like, man, I wish I was an adult so I can go really? do this without having like, to have I my parents' permission. I want to see if permission. I can make a bong out of this carrot. Like it's just, I, I just, I, I never felt like I needed to find okay, my. But what I'm saying is, children, children in that age want to have a voice. And most of the time, people don't want to fucking listen to a 14-year-old because you're like, shut the fuck up, you're 14, you have no idea what you're talking about. Well, and now they have a platform. Well, now they have a platform to use their voice, and they all, and as a collective thing, they feel like they're powerful because, you know, if they're typing on their Twitter account with four followers following 900 (laughs) people, (laughs) by themselves, they're not, it's like apes together strong, but separate, (laughs) not strong. (laughs) (laughs) they come together as a school of fish, they can beat the fuck out of a whale, you know? But they don't. That's the thing. <laughs> They're just shooting BB guns at a whale. They're not exactly. doing anything. Yeah. They're shooting BB guns at the U.S. But military. I'm saying, as, yeah, as a kid's mind, I can see why they think that what they're doing is actually making a difference when it's not. Yeah. They need something to do. 
They, they, need, just, they, they need four well, or five to be fair, years to it's develop. Not just kids. It's, it's not just kids. There yeah. are adults who do it. It's, oh, fucking, yeah. it's just people that think social media is an outlet. Now, for that's like the thing. The adults that, that think like that, they have a mental issue. They have a mental issue. Yes. They need to go to Dish University. Yeah. Dish you. Yeah, people are. They have a mental problem. If you're 26 and you give a fuck about what Tommy in it or George says, <laughs> you have a fucking mental disorder. I'm sorry to tell you. Get a life. Get something to do. <laughs> go outside. Even some bitches even, on your dick. Go outside. Even, bro. With, like, even with our schedules, I, I'm like, I just don't have enough time to be mad at something that I'm not directly life involved in. Life is so yeah. short. Dude, you're going to die someday. And, it, and, and you actually are this caught up in what Tommy Ennett said. <laughs> yeah. uh, you think on your deathbed you're going to be like, damn it, we didn't cancel Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Like, just for real. <laughs> Go out, mow some lawns, get some money, buy a 40 ounce, grill a steak, soup, I snort just, cocaine, fuck soup, a hooker. That's just Soup's plans for tonight. I don't know if I... <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just like looked over to your left and saw your to-do list for today and just started screaming it. <laughs> just out of nowhere. <laughs> shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, do you have a lawn? You have a lawn scoop? Goon, goons rant over. I do over. have a lawn. Yes. You do? Because I know you have... <laughs> what do you, you live on like an open property. I don't live on nothing, McNasty. I was floating <laughs> on this cloud. Oh We've already talked about this, though. <laughs> no, I haven't. We know You're that you live so in the fucking middle of nowhere. You're weird. Why are you being so private? Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't no, matter where I live. Yes, I have a lawn. What did he call you? Egotistical. Yeah, can wow. we yell at that fucking idiot? That called Yeah, let's do, talk about that comment. <laughs> called do egotistical for continuing to want to have his privacy. Yeah. Motherfucker That's left like how, a whole how paragraph comment about how <laughs> do is egotistical because he does not want his address out there, his name. Like, what the fuck head ass shit is that? How, how delusional can you be? Like, those are the people that, that frighten me. Those are the people who have... <laughs> There's some scary people. <laughs> the good thing about giving everyone in, in the world a mobile device to just post whatever's on their mind at any point of the day is glorious because you realize how fucking stupid yeah. people are. You give, you give the world TikTok and Twitter and you're like, wow, this is who I'm living with. <laughs> the human race is just cursed. <laughs> this is who I'm living with. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah I, if uh, your take on 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 somebody trying to hide their privacy is that they're egotistical or narcissistic, you, you are, are you are the you, reason they are hiding. You are the reason we're hiding, and there's something wrong with your brain. Give me your address, <laughs> boy. If you don't give me your address, you're a pussy and egotistical. <laughs> <laughs> also, get a life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, McNasty, do we have one more question? Uh, little rap god verse for the boys there. <laughs> Damn, man, that was great. Uh, Thanks. I've been practicing. No, you haven't. It's just shows. <laughs> no, it doesn't. McNasty pooped. While you're looking for that, I'm just going to say, I wonder if there's any like talent show videos of people trying to uh, perform Rap God. Very poorly. Terrible. Oh, I hope yeah. so. I'm just a train wreck. I'm sure they're out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, they gotta be out there. Everything's out there. <laughs> what? Why are you vibrating? I don't, there's not any more questions. I thought you said that guy had three. Yeah. Or was, it the, was that three? Well, there's one, but I feel like it's gonna last too long. It says, what's the worst family solo trip you've had? It's the worst family slash solo trip you've had. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if I have like any to be honest. I've never really had a bad trip experience. Well, like, are we talking like doing drugs with your family? Or are we going like you know going to <laughs> I got plenty of those <laughs> going to Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> a little family trip. We all I guess both. Trips. I mean, I feel like both would be pretty interesting. Uh, I've never done drugs with my family. I've never done <laughs> drugs. Pussy. Never have you ever drank? Have you ever Was drank it? with your family or like smoked weed? Mm, nope. Not not even drink? Never done like nope. pay out in the desert. Like family as in like Obama. not like your mom and dad, but like cousins or something you ever drank with? Uh a little bit. I have never drank with my cousins, but I drank with like my dad. My cousins fucking suck. Drink with like my entire family. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I don't. No, I'm good. <laughs> I, that dude was just silent. I, I don't know that he's. <laughs> My he's family what? is so clean cut. I have nothing ah, to contribute to this. Yeah, privacy. Somebody's going to be able to find out. They're going to look at your mom and be like, oh my yeah, gosh, she's so cute. Hawaii, July oh, 2nd, Your mom doesn't look like a crack whore. <laughs> oh, that must be Dew's mom. Your mom's, <laughs> this woman's never gone to jail for heroin. It must Every be Dew's mom. Every woman you see is Dew's mom. <laughs> yes. I am Dew's mom. <laughs> what, I that, wish. That's, been, that's been the thing the whole time. We have been Dew's family. Mm -hmm. Dew's yes. just doing a family podcast. Yeah. I'm actually an orphan. That would be and the these biggest are my three gay dads. <laughs> my three day gay day gay dads. <laughs> <laughs> my three gay dad, dude. That'd be a good fucking sitcom. That's kind of almost what two and a half men was. <laughs> Except they weren't gay and they had sloppy woman sex all the time. Yeah, uh, whatever. So no, not at all. Two and a half. Whatever, men. Balarg. Okay, Eric. What is the bottom dollar you guys would take to get in a cage match with a gorilla? I want to hear it. You I know we talked about it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I want a real answer. I, I your mic has gotten to a point where if you get louder than like a hundred decibels, just gives it just up. turns off. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're all thinking it, and it just does. I just it. Are <laughs> <That's> <laughs> favorite. You hear the uck part. Now I want you guys to tell me what would it take for you to get in a cage match with a gorilla for ten minutes. Nothing. Ten minutes. I wouldn't That's do a that. Long time. Mil Ten million, minutes. Million I would dollars die. a minute. I would die. There's no dollar amount. <laughs> million dollars die. a minute is what I'm. Yeah, saying I, I'm basically leaving this money for my family because I'm going to be a corpse. Who was it that told me that Mike Tyson tried to pay a zookeeper to get in a fight with a gorilla and the zookeeper wouldn't let him do it? I believe that really? when he was like, I believe hammer that, out yeah. of his mind on coke all the time. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, he probably could have done it. <laughs> probably could have took on a gorilla. Well, okay, Soup, what would you, how much would you I'm do it for? Sealed. Since you're okay, so passionate I'll, about I'll it. I'll answer in a second, but there, this is confirmed by this article. Uh, Mike Tyson admits <laughs> he once off offered, <laughs> he admits he offered a zookeeper $10,000 to fight a silverback gorilla. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. That's Bruh. Just that is some shit. <laughs> he would get fucking ripped to pieces. Like, it's he's such like a small threat to the gorilla that I really don't even know if it would fight him. It'd probably just like, you know, you just have to ooh, agitate and eat a banana. I, I, yeah. I think that I think the gorillas and stuff aren't they aren't aggressive towards people unless they're agitated yeah, you, by you. You'd have to like finger his ass or something. Yeah, you know, you, if you just up. stood next to a gorilla, he's not just going to pick you up and rip you in half. Yeah, you just have to. You have like to piss off the gorilla. The yeah. Oh my god, this is not real. And I quote, When we got there, the gorilla cage there was one big silverback gorilla just bullying all the other gorillas. Did he want to take like... Did he want... What, what, he wanted to be like a vigilante to the other gorillas? Yeah, he wanted to stand up for the other gorillas. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> he's, he's a national hero. Holy shit. I I don't I don't even know what to say about this. I don't, that's fucking stupid. He's a stupid man. <laughs> <laughs> don't do drugs. If you need proof that drugs are bad, let that be it. <laughs> but imagine pay per view. Imagine the sales of oh, yeah. Mike Tyson God, versus Gorilla. Just like it literally YouTubers. just be pay per view to watch Mike Tyson die. <laughs> <laughs> like what if he fucking? What if when he got in that. there? He like the other gorillas actually respected the alpha gorilla, and they all just gang the fuck up on him. Bro, you couldn't, but the, the thing is, is, you couldn't even argue animal rights because like the, a gorilla doesn't give a fuck. Who's trying to argue anything. animal rights? I, I'm just yeah. saying, like if, if I think people even were to be like, yeah, let it happen. I, I, I'm <laughs> saying, like if people were to be like, yeah, that that's immoral and wrong. It's like it, you couldn't even say that because the gorilla is a goddamn machine. Yeah, he's oh, not even he's a threat. Dude. Like, he's actually yeah. not even a threat yeah. to the gorilla. That's like a smart like car rear-ending a... a se yeah, like a smart car rear-ending a semi-truck. Like, it's just... It's it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and you, it won't even notice him punching. Dude, you cannot tell me, though. Like, okay, let's, let's, let's say, like, the world's top ten strongest men. Ten of them. Kay. One gorilla. I want to see it happen. I want to see the world's strongest men Go up against one 
full well, grown gorilla I think at in a cage point, match. The, the guys would win. Yeah, especially if, so? they, especially if they could fight. Yeah, I mean, like gorillas are you know ooh, they're big boys, but like you know, ten people is just an overwhelming. Especially number. I mean, the world's strongest men, which are like. A lot of them are over okay, 400 not, maybe pounds not the of muscle. Strongest man, like the, the top 10 fighters of the world. See, like I would boxing, think that's even MMA. more deadly because big guys can't even like yeah. throw a punch. They, they have too much muscle in the way. Yeah, they okay, probably get winded little, pretty easily. How many, yeah. how many of those men do you think it would take to be a fair match? Five. Now? I think five. I think five yeah. dudes five. could take out a gorilla. Five trained fighters could take out a gorilla. Let's make it four. This is such a dude conversation. <laughs> I can yeah, never this imagine is... a, 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 a group of girls in Starbucks talking about this. this. Yeah. <laughs> Just talking Just about this as they do their makeup. And their, and their, and their Nike pumpkin runners. spice latte. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no. I'm really curious. It, like how many like men it would take to handle a gorilla? What about well, average it happen. men? There's no definitive average answer. Men, I, think it's, I think it's closer to ten for sure. Do you think yeah. us four could take a gorilla? In Absolutely a not. No I mean, way. Maybe we could Dude. take it in a sexual way, but I don't know if we could take I'd it. I'd be sitting a, outside the cage, paying way. somebody else to be there and there the, for me. The gorilla could <laughs> one arm curl my entire body. Yeah, like, yeah, so we'd, we'd need your weight to help us out. We'd need like a. You know, we need like true. we we need tank like DPS. Tank. <laughs> yeah, we need DPS. We need support. I think I'd be a healer. Yeah, I'm support. I would, I, I'd spit dip in his eyes. I'd be the sniper. Dude's just like stabbing with me with like fucking adrenaline shots. Yeah, <laughs> I keep passing out. I, actually, we might have the team come here. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Blark has a suicide bomb vest. All <laughs> we all die. <laughs> it's it's like the gets a team kill. I'm taking a few with me. <laughs> Holy Man, fuck! Well, that's, a, that's a good note to end this podcast on. Yeah, mm. this went by quick. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. a quick podcast. We I covered could, a wide variety I mean, of topic. I feel like we just started seeing red when we talked about stupid kids. Yeah. So it just I can talk about stupid kids all the fucking time. Yes, yeah. never ends for me. To be continued. You don't want kids, do you, McNasty? Fuck no, hell no. Why? Well, actually, no, no, dude, dude, I don't want kids. Oh, I, I want kids. Someday. I don't like being around yeah. kids uh, once every couple of months, let alone having one twenty four seven. Oh, that'll change someday. I think it'll no. change your mind. Nah, dude, I literally despise I mean, once children. Once you settle down, every time Man. I see a child, I want to fist fight it. I, I fucking will only, hate kids. <laughs> I will only talk to women who do not want kids. Okay, I'm glad that's uh. where that went. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I I think I, that'll change. I hate kids. Yeah, I think I'm it'll change. I think that'll Let me change. babysit I'm for you. I'll, I'll babysit. You I'll babysit McNasty. You Jr. would babysit the baby McNasties. I'd bring Absolutely. a fucking gun. I would shoot. Like, the there's stories? no hope otherwise. There's no hope. Like the kid's doomed. I would be a great dad. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm fucking with you, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, homie. <laughs> okay, homie. In the podcast. Bro. Yeah, bro. in the podcast too. Man, I want to talk to you guys longer. You guys hate me. Yes, How many kids right. do you want to? We're not going to have an hour and a half long 47. podcast. 47? Uh, we're number 58 today on the podcast charts, by what? the way, in America. Really? Do you remember, wait. like, have we gone up from the last time you've seen it? Yeah. What, what were wait, we before? We're, wait, what? We're 58? We're 58 in the USA, boys. Uh, on Ow. what platform? Like of all yeah, time? What? Of all podcasts? Or um, just comedy? I just see it on Spotify. Of all the podcasts. Let me go look right now. Oh, what? what? Podcast. Yeah, people charts. enjoy this for some reason. What is? I don't. I will <laughs> never understand that. I know. Compared to other podcasts that are so like professional and everybody, wave, everybody boys. takes their turn to talk. Nobody Smile really talks to each other. We just like <laughs> babble on. Yeah. Babylon. How many men does it take to fight a gorilla? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are they talking about the this on the Joe Rogan mark. podcast? I think not. <laughs> no, he's busy doing DMT. You don't know what's the, going d- on. The the dream comp for for. Humans fighting gorillas? No, you only get that here. <laughs> uh, yes, we are 58 in the USA right now of what? all podcasts A on Spotify. Podcast in America, yes. What? Now, if I go, if I go to top comedy, we are 155. All right, boys. The goal for the end of the year is to pass Ben Shapiro's podcast. Deal. <laughs> what number is he? Yeah, what number uh, is he? Uh, ben he's, Shapiro. He's 23. Who? God damn, there's a lot of idiots. Yeah, he's 23. And, he's yeah. not. He's 18 for me. Oh, damn. Well, that's, uh, that's a well, lot. Well, we can goal. probably make it happen. We, we need to talk about hating liberals. 
Yeah. All right, guys. What you guys need to do to get us past Ben Shapiro? Don't get your vaccine. Whatever. It's a conspiracy. Go <laughs> own some reason. liberals and then bring eat those your, stories back to the masks. podcast. Prove the liberals wrong. <laughs> Tell your people masks. that aren't downloading the goons of Spotify podcast that they're liberals. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't be a liberal. It. <laughs> uh, yeah, go download on Spotify. You guys are still killing it. Thank you so much. And mm-hmm. if you're watching mm-hmm. on YouTube, comment Sullivan. And no. like and subscribe. Yes, yeah, man. Comment, Sullivan. No Sullivan, comment Sullivan, Sullivan. Please. Sullivan everywhere, please. Who the hell it. is Sullivan? I need it. I need my name. It's All not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye forever. <laughs>